What up? How you doing? What's happening? You know, I made a promise back, I want to say in late January. That promise was going to play Frog Detective 3 before the end of February. So I don't have to eat any weird objects. Frog Detective 3 is what's happening today. Make sure I tweet. That's correct. So not just Frog Detective 3, something else we're going to talk about today. I know a lot of you have been eagerly, eagerly anticipating any news on Grotto Beasts. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about later tonight. Grotto Beasts tonight is going to go into pre-sale. We're going to go over everything. There's a lot to talk about. It's I, I, I have a presentation for you. We've waited so long. <laughs> tonight. Grotto Beast goes into pre-sale tonight. PowerPoint Andy, that's right. Let's freaking go. You know what? I'll give you a let's freaking go. The Elden Ring DLC? Did you see that? It's getting kind of crazy out there. Uh, Elden Ring DLC got announced as well. I didn't know. Who knows when it's going to be done, but at least they told us it's coming. <laughs> hey, this is in development. Now, all of you shut up already. Okay, okay, oh yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. Shh, everybody quiet. Because I've been waiting for that, too. Yeah, let's let's see what they do. It's very exciting. Whenever it's done, it's done. Sounds good. But yeah, so we're going to play some Frog Detective 3. I'm not going to immediately talk about Grotto Beast. I want enough people to get, you know, trickle into the stream. Because there's a lot of info. You're such a silly guy. Yeah, kind of. What horse did you vote for? What? Oh, you, this thing. All right, I didn't know. I didn't do anything. What about Hylix? Then they growled at me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it was it was play Hylix, or break a huge promise I made to chat a month ago. I have to go with the promise. That is frog time. You lied to Europe. Okay, I'm operating in the United States of America. The United States of America is where I operate from. It is currently 6 p.m. in the United States of America. What's my favorite song? Um. But yeah, Hylix will be after this. Probably in the next couple of days. Why do you hate Europeans? I don't hate Europeans. Oh, I just burped. I just... I almost shit my pants right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys! Grotto Beast is coming! And I shit my pants and have to leave the stream? Actually, that'd be really funny. Let's go! Announcement stream! Grotto Beast pre-sale! Oh, batches! Oh, I shit my pants. I have to leave, guys. See you in a week. You better not bat chest me, by the way. I will be fucking furious. Alright, let's go. Not gonna delay anymore. Let's play Frog Detective 3. By the way, if you don't like voices, 
this is probably a good time for you to mute the stream because this is all I'm going to be doing for the next like three hours. Oh, is that Elden Ring news? How dare you. <laughs> all right, let's go. Hey, there it is. This is Frog Detective 3 Corruption at Cowboy County. So what's going to happen here is uh, there'll be about three voices the whole stream. Spread out over probably ten characters. Is the Frog Detective voice actor back? They were very expensive. All right, let's go. You guys ready? I can't find your notebook in my records. Could you please remind me of what it looks like? What? What did I do? Oh, I uninstalled the first two games. Does that matter? <laughs> Is that bad? I, I have, it's, it's been like a year. What did I do? Did I screw it up? I, Frog Detective 2, I played like a year and a half ago, didn't I? You've ruined the experience. No, I didn't. I just make it again. Oh, definitely. Uh, death banding beetles. Two carrots. Wait, hold on a minute. You guys don't regularly kind of clean out your PC's computer and shit? You guys aren't cleaning out your PC? I have this... Okay. If I have not opened an application in at least six months, it, it goes. I gotta free up that space. No, I don't want that. He won the trophy, okay. And a sunflower. Wait, I wanted to be holding the trophy. Like that, okay. And... All right, I'm happy with that. Looks good. What about the spider? Put a hat on. Um, okay. And a, a, a sunshine. And a magnifying glass. And a spider. All right, that's good. I'm done. That's a good book, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's Mary. Remember me? I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the invisible wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know. Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. I'll be exactly what... It'll be exactly what happened. Okay, WASD. So it doesn't have my save file. Oh, 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 hello? <clears throat> oh my gosh, hey, it's me. Detective Frog. Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to describe our professional relationship. But you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly. Like a manager, almost. Yeah. Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, haha. <laughs> That's my job, to solve mysteries. Haha, <laughs> obviously I was being dramatic. 
classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Ah, boo. I know, bummer. Things are so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there. It'll take you on a little trip. Cute. Okay. Otto. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks, love. Later. <laughs> Welcome to the next, like, two straight hours. Magnifying glass. Sick. Now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. Got your magnifying glass. Good. This game is 100 hours. What? God damn it. I hate when people just fucking lie to my face. Whoa, this is weird. Okay, that's gonna make me puke. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station, and it's all so cool. Like, there's a new color scheme and stuff. Hmm. Can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes, seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. Nice. Ready, get ready. You guys ready? Oh my god. Alright. So what's going on here? What's going on here? I ride that? Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Shelving Agency speaking. How can I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now, who's the weird one? Uh, regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. <gasps> As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Whizbay to help you get around. Oh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a... Cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. Right, sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order then? A scooter, of course. Sick. Should be next to you uh, in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster cop arrived early, and I will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path and meet him and have fun. Hope you have fun, too. I will. All right. See you. 
acting, 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 acting. My very own scooter. Sick. Got a scooter. Two out of three voices. You haven't heard the third one yet. You haven't heard the third one yet. Come on. Wait, what? They added... Alright, this is interesting. Can I go off like a jump? Frog Detective 3. Cowboy County. Prime or whatever. In the first 10 minutes, he breaks his fucking ankle. That's kind of cool. So where should I go from here? <laughs> it's actually fun to move around. Super Hot presents Game by Worm Club. With assistance from Vic Screen. Soundtrack by Dan Golding. <laughs> Starring Lobster Cop. Alright, I gotta get voices for these. Susie Rabbit. Herman and the Bandits. The Frog Detective. Plus a special guest. Right, what's the mystery? Oh, cool. Frog Detective 3. Corruption at Cowboy County. <laughs> oh, the clapping. <laughs> That's so funny. Theater kid. You know what? Hey, I get to I get to do this at least like once every few months. All right, come on. All right, moment of truth. Well, I I I I. Hey, lobster cop! I'm here to help solve a mystery. Right on time, Detective. I'm known worldwide for my time, ladies. Is that so? No. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cup? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the Sheriffless County. Oh. This town was thriving, Detective. Marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, uh, can you please not interrupt me? I sincerely apologize. When he says Bugleberry? <laughs> what? That's not Bugleberry? That's not... That, yeah, that's, that's Jimmy Stewart. That's not Bugleberry. It's Jimmy Stewart. I'm staying with Jimmy Stewart. I don't care. So oh, anyway. Oh, I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Why there was something missing. A sheriff. Well, the town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here to facilitate hiring for a management position. Detective, uh, you've read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. 
Did you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I don't need your help. It's kind of turning into Mr. Ed. <laughs> it's a Mr. Ed. Whatever. The position has been filled. Oh. I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting... The new sheriff of Cowboy County. Sheriff Mason Mole. Well, congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No, no, no! Oof. No, you... No, you can... Hmm. No, no. 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 No, you... Uh, fuck. No. 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 No, you... No. No. You cannot. Mm. <laughs> voice selector. <laughs> voice one, voice two, voice three, voice one, voice... No, no, it's voice one, voice two, voice three, voice one A, one B, one C, voice one D, one... You know what I mean? It's... All right. No, you cannot. Fuck. No. No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Moe? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's a mystery? It's the same fucking person. Hold on. <laughs> All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. Oh, we got a notebook. Oh. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. Goodbye. <laughs> well, well, what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, Detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to do is find a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to the clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A meal? Yes, detective, keep up. I am very hungry, boy, and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon. My name's Acho. Tea, if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. It's uh, it's Goofy as well. It's Goofy and Mr. Ed and I don't know a few in there. Will do. Good luck, Lapsy Cop. I don't need a good luck detective. All right. 
So, we gotta find Ace 3, Mystery of the Missing Hats. Incredibly important. Lobster Cop. Motive. There is no possible motive for Lobster Cop to do this. He wants a crime scene map, criminal tool, key, and a meal. Okay, it's Lobster Cop, number one best detective. I'm very jealous, so tall. Interesting. That's all we got on Lobster Cop right now. All right, so we gotta find a uh, crime scene map, criminal tool, key, and a meal. Hmm. I'm going this way first. Whoops. Oh, right, I have this. No secrets back here or anything? Ooh, wait a minute. What's this? Such beautiful flowers. Very spiky looking, too. Hmm. TV Land Andy. <laughs> A boomerang! It's all coming back to you. Snake? It's a cute snake. Okay, so that's cool. That's up there. Okay, so keep, keep, there's a flower up there. I gotta remember that. Should I go in here? Okay, I can't go in. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> hey! Hey! You! Me? Yeah, you! Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on a favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't know even who you are. I'm Sue. What is it? Su Susie Rabbit? What is it? Is it Saucy Rabbit or Susie Rabbit? What is it? What's the? How do I? How do I pronounce this? Rip chat. Yeah. I think it's it's yeah it's, no I got it right. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? Hey, you're the best. Thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. What? I will not. Huh? Dude, you already agreed to it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. Oh, so now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. What the heck? Break into the bank. Excuse me. Excuse me, Rabbit. Hello? What? It's me, Frog Detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the Flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm going to have to break it on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyways? A bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. He ignores he's my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh. So you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting in there. Getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean, uh, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that's vital to the missing hats case. 
Wait, what? I can really use that. Oh, so you will help me. Hmm. I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map, and I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. If I, if it had, yeah, hey, it had big letters on the top that said crime map, eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good. Maybe there's another way to get into the vault. Can I ask you some questions? All right. How, let's go. The map. About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Yeah, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guide to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about that map? No, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sounds like a good deal. I'll do my best. Can I ask you some questions? All right, how do we get in? Well, let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm going to be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah. But there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules? It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No! Suit yourself. <laughs> Theoretically, if I were to help... Yes, thank you. I'll wait right here. Thank you, detective. Okay. Mind if I ask you some more questions? Okay, so we gotta get into the vault. We have to get a fake ID. Small enemy spider. She's destroying you. <laughs> I'm being I'm being outclassed in our conversation. Okay. Uh short temper. Ethical criminal, not a big believer in rules. Needs a fake ID, yikes. Okay. I need an ID. I'll come back in a minute because I have to figure out how, what you're going to sound like. <gasps> Guys! Guys, look! <gasps> Swamp. Enemy. Spider. Holy shit, guys! It's the- Swamp. Enemy. Spider. What the f- What the heck? Enemy. What- I forgot how you talk. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being Sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm. Strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ah, uh, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So how'd you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. 
Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as a new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? You have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Ha <laughs> There I go again being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. R1, 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 R1. Okay, Mason Mole, motive. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. To be left alone, it seems, okay. A fellow of few words, previous job, helped out. Helped out. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Ooh, these could come in handy. I get it. Handy. Gloves. Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool. What? <laughs> All right. So I got gloves. Does anybody need gloves? I know everybody, everybody's waiting for what character is going to be Bernie Sanders and what character is going to be Donald Trump. I, everyone's waiting. Everyone's like, which one is going to be Bernie Sanders, right? I know everyone's waiting for it, but, but what if I, what if I pivot? What if it's not Bernie Sanders, right? What if it's not? What if I don't do Bernie Sanders? One of them is going to be Mr. Satan. Yeah, it, you, you guys, you know the, you know the drill. Okay, am I ready? <clears throat> if you're here from the evil secret society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's the evil secret society? Let's try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh, yeah? Where are your credentials then? Uh, well, I'm a detective. I am a frog. And I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. You have any identification? Just my face. Mm. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but my appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that's regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the, the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. Uh, the posties are another one. They, they go around delivering mail. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Uh, then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies, but that's only half true. Oh. The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed that they never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. 
to be inducted into the league, you need to have a... I have to, you have to have a spot on the ghost. And you haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no. I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. Hmm. Secret societies. This is a sped up Mr. Satan. The only difference is that I don't say Goku at the end. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Oh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, Detective. Those societies run deep. I barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been. Anything you've ever done. It's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You think not, but it is true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? <sighs> like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I had to look into it. No, no, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh, yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more a lack of evidence of uh, it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right, and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. <laughs> How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and out about. How does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. Uh, the, the saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of, are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict, if I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What'd you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast, so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to spot a stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which one of those photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be a part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, I'll have time. I'll take a look. Thanks. <laughs> Are there two people doing these voices? Batches. <laughs> Dude, uh, yeah, there is. No, uh, no, there's only one, dude. Can you? There's only one person doing the voice. What the fuck? No fucking way. <laughs> okay. Wants membership to the secret society. No, wants to the secret hat stealing. So Ooh. Okay, we gotta go in the saloon. Does not buy my detective disguised rat. Okay. What's going on here? He's a cube. I like Craig. Okay. So find the real photo of a ghost. Let me do that now so I don't forget.
Do I need a camera? Is it in the uh, go? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I have to prove that one of these has a ghost in it? You're killing it right now. Maybe I have to get another item. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. <laughs> well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me. Finest artist in all of Cowboy County, and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I'd love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. No matter, detective. Simply keep saving up, and you'll be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes. My finest piece yet. It's, um... Uh... Well, you see, it's clearly a... Uh, who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Well, I'm sure it's just a bit of a creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace, and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who's buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise, and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I have lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours, and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one, and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. The worm back there is so fucking cool. <laughs> Alright, you need a muse. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I'd love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. Your head is a weird shape. I know. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Can I ask you something else? Go ahead. Can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? I don't know what more there is to say. I wanted to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the 1,000th visitor and I won 100,000 money. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to them. You did what? Relax. How else was I going to get my prize money? 
Seems really dangerous. You're just jealous because I won 100,000 money. It's already there in my bank account. You checked? Really? Yeah. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow, I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? All right, so we got to get something compelling to draw. Real. <laughs> Real. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and some internet safety lessons. Amuse. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Allegedly cursed. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. I was... <laughs> Jesus. No, do not do that. Okay. What are you up to? for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, oh, you're about the hats. I must look like a heck of a suspect. Why is that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in a stew. Aha! Aha! Did you steal? Did you steal the hatch and cook them up in your stew? You bet. Oh. Everyone come get your hat stew. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. <laughs> I'm literally joking. <laughs> they just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, eh. <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah. I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Ah. <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing. LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective! Uh -huh. Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, LOL. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the world very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Ah, uh, gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Gravely. Graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. So you can check them out if you want. I sure will. Thanks. LOL. I just got the gravely thing. <laughs> Can I ask any questions to you? You didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think to get the regular customers back. Where'd they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Ah, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no. You're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. 
You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right! Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. The solution is... Stew. Cat stew! I'm joking! Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them here with the stew, keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients, though. Say, uh, could you bring me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Got some money. She is not joking. Oh, and around these parts, there's really delicious edible cactus flower. Could you collect four for me? Oh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Okay. Wait, what about the ghost photos? Do you know much about the photos here in the... Whoa! Acting. <clears throat> Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Huh, legend has it, they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Don't have any more. Okay, so what... I what do I do with, um, I gotta look at the photos? <laughs> Hearing your actual voice is so jarring. <laughs> audio, audio book Andy. Okay, so let's... We, we got some tasks. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Well, maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy. One of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. Smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Okay. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? <laughs> no, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right. LOL. Oh, that's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why did you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. That's not a haunted photo. It has a nice energy. Okay. What? This one's super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. But that's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's so old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh. Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Uh, coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> so what, do, do I have to decide which one is haunted or maybe she'll just tell me eventually? Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend has it, this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on. If people wedgies, you name it. 
Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry. I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this... This guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. They're not haunted. Nope, sorry. All good. She's literally joking. Is this a ghost? <laughs> I, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came in and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It's really weird and messy. Fun, though. And they're still alive. I sure hope so. Thanks. Huh. Wait a minute. I'm going on here. I think we found the ghost. What about this one? Wait, was this one here before? Hmm. I don't remember. There's such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Funny? Yes, Detective. I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'll be glad to be rid of it. All right, we got the photo. Sick. Got the photo. Sick. Okay. So who wanted the ghost picture? Fake ID. Oh, it was, um, you. Okay, proof of a ghost. Craig. Very nice. All right, let's go do that. Look what I got. Can I ask you some questions? Here's the ghost pic. So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? Uh, how, how do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I could just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to find a little bit. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for all your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry. Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay, uh, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing, sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. Uh, it's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Progress. Progress. Okay. So what do I do with the pickaxe? Progress. 
All right, so but wait, don't, what, should I get that flower? Can I even get, wait, can I get the flower with the pickaxe? Where was that flower? All right, wait, no, 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 don't go that fast. Okay, it's a good view. Can I not get up there? Just checking. Do I do anything with the snakes? I want to see the scorpion. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Let's start swap. Gotta be scorpion. Ooh! Look! 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 Is it? Can I jump? Okay, that's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves. Ooh, all right, so this one. I need to get a couple more. Nice. Uh -uh. The other one was back here, wasn't it? Where was the other one? Oh, it's over here. You missed it? I did? Next to the entrance, you goofy streamer. Past it? Go back. And the other one's back behind there. Goofy streamer. That, I mean, I, that's true. Okay. And the last one, is, am I, is, it, is there only four or is there more than four? I don't know. Four. All right. That should be enough flowers. Uh, all right, we are getting very close to talk about and show Grotto Beasts. We are moments away, I would say. <laughs> we haven't heard Bernie yet. You can't. Well, hold on, hold on. I didn't say yet. In a little bit. Okay, let oh, I this is what what happens. Okay, so this. Okay. Uh, uh, hey. Oh. Wow. Look at you. Huh? Your jumper. Uh, your vacant smile. Those piercing eyes. Are you a model, by any chance? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Maybe it's time to solve a mystery. <laughs> that does not sound like that person I'm trying to do, but yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any. Tr I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Ha! Ah. What? Because of your good looks. Huh? It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. 
It was like you could like steal my heart because you're so dashing. Hi, yeah, you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about missing hats. The missing hearts? Uh, you've stolen them. Sorry, I'm uh, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right? Uh, of course, the hats. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Uh, who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused on how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she did not get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Ball, wanted in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. <laughs> You're turning into Christopher Walken? <laughs> Am I? Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two... No, that's not Walken. Come on. He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy. So I'll give him the time to settle in. But I don't know. It can't be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Can I ask you some questions about the case? We got the pickaxe. Please do walk in. No. I have talked about this before. You cannot do a walk in unless you can absolutely do a Christopher walk in. You, there is no attempting to do a walk-in. You either do it and nail it or not at all. The people that can do walk-in, they do it phenomenally. Everybody else kind of, wow, it just goes like that. No, 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 no. You you don't attempt to walk-in unless you do a walk-in. That's, you know what I'm saying? You, don't, you do not do that. Any reason why you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth, and he loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dying? I'm gonna burp. Mate? What? <laughs> no, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that was, was gross? Oh, fuck it, whatever. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel? I'll think about it. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Uh, should we get info first? Why are you so suspicious of Mason Moe? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Ah. Ding. Anyway, I just really don't understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I I'm not so sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? No. Figures. Might have asked you some questions. All right. Well, let's complete it right here. You mentioned you wanted a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade it for the shovel. Oh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner. Just you and I. 
Uh, I'll take the shovel for now. The offer's open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there you go. I, I I did Bernie. I did I did my terrible Bernie impression. <laughs> Alright, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready to go over this? This is like it's been like two years coming. You ready to, to talk about this for a little bit? We'll come back. We'll we'll finish this tonight. We'll just uh, just want to take a little bit of time to go over it. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. Pickaxe to break into the mine. Okay, so I got a shovel. All right. I am going to take a quick BRB. When I come back, we're going to go over Grotto Beasts. Those of you that are asking, what is that? You will see very shortly. So, here we go. I will be right back. Alrighty. Hello. Are we ready to look at this? <laughs> Hold on, let me just say something. Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of corroborating when the story is going to go up. So, give us just a second or two. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's time. You've waited long enough. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
All right, here we go. Let's go over Grotto Beasts. Are you ready? I hope so. So for those that have no idea what's going on, uh, a couple of years ago, we did a stream called The Wonders of Archaeology. In that stream, I opened up card packs from a game, a fake game, that we made up. And a couple of years later, I am pleased to set to announce to you that as of tonight, pre-sales are open and you can actually get the real thing. Oh, dude, Elden Ring! Elden... No, it's not Elden Ring. So let's go. Are you ready for the presentation? Here comes the presentation. <gasps> All right, I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to read it. There's a lot to, of stuff to read. So just be aware. I, this is going to be like a presentation stream. So what is it? It's a physical trading card game where you and your opponents compete in a rumble to determine a champion. Harness new summoning powers to call upon grottos, beasts, wishes. Uh, you may even tag a powerful challenger to add even more crazy effects. So again, like I just said, the lore of this whole thing is back, it was March 6, 2021. That stream kind of sparked this idea so like, what if we, the original idea was we were going to, oh, what if we just like release the, the 40, original 40, uh, beasts and just put them in card packs and whatever, who cares? It kind of evolved into where it is now. And it's evolved many times. Again, it's March 6th in a week. So kind of good timing here because that's the two year anniversary of that stream. We went into the desert, did all the digging, did all the stuff with the excavator. It was really fun. So that is kind of what this project is. That's where it started. But going forward here, it's a real game. It's a real card game. A designer was hired to put this all together. It plays. It's a 1v1. The game is a 1v1. There are, I think there's, a, there's another game mode as well. But this is not just... Oh, it's like collectible cards. It's also this big game. Now people are probably asking, Oh, that's kind of cool, man, but like... Uh, playing a game or collecting cards to make like a big deck? The whole purpose of this project is for it to be community merch. Uh, I'll, I'll address it a little bit later, but... The number one thing that I care about here is people being able just to do this for fun. But there's an unbelievably cool game that's behind the whole thing. So, they are standard playing card sizes. We've seen that question a million times. Hey, like, can they fit into, into the sleeves? Yes. Standard playing card size. Three and a half by two and a half. There are rarities. Common and rare. And as you can see, they have a C or an R above the card number. There are holographic versions of every card. Every single card has a holographic version. And there, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Grotto Beasts group chat, because they're probably going to scream at me if I say this wrong. Uh, there are four different holographic types. Is that correct, right? Yes. Okay, good. Four, yes. So there are 200 different cards, 200 individual pieces of artwork. Uh, I think the Grotto Beast team has shown 150. Yeah. So also the original 40 are there as well. There were 20 artists that came together to do this. All the original 40 that featured in the stream, plus 16 additional guest illustrators from the community were recruited. One being me. We revealed uh, the card that I did last week, two weeks ago. One guy. And I think it, I think it's a phenomenal piece of artwork. But, hold on, I gotta burp again. Ugh! Yeah. It's 
there are four different card types. There are wish cards. Actually, this might be on the next page. And by the way, this is all going to be available. This, uh, this FAQ here, we, it will be available as of probably tomorrow morning. But I wanted to show it on stream first. So this resource will be very easy for you to go look. If you're like, wait, what the hell is he? What, what did he say about this? Four different cards, card types. And a lot went into it, as you can see. Here's the, all right, here we go, here we go. Let's go, game info. The rules, again, it's a 1v1 game. Two players, classic dual gameplay, shorter and more competitive. The Rumble, two players, adds challenger cards that change the way the decks interact with each other. Or the German Rumble, three plus players, chaotic, intense game mode. There are three different ways to play it. A deck, ha you make a deck, by the way. So all decks must contain 40 cards. Uh, each deck can contain, but hold on, I can't even read this right. Each deck can contain up to three copies of each card that shares it. All right, let me ask. When I used to do these in school, I would be I would be like shuffling papers like, um, so uh, when Abraham Lincoln, uh, when, what, what year was he fucking born? <laughs> I feel like I'm shuffling papers around. Uh, but yeah, so each deck has to have 40 cards to play. Each deck can contain up to three copies of each card that shares the same card name. So you can only have three in each deck. You can't have like 10 of the same card. Uh, they may only be one epic card type in your deck. But just like other cards, uh, you may have up to three of those. So there, there's going to be... A, oh, epic? There's going to be some media that is produced over the coming weeks to really show how this game is played. Uh, our game designer is starting to put together the, uh, sort of an explanation because it, it's the game is it's about it's kind of like um I'm trying to compare it to something what's what's the best thing to compare this to grotto beast group chat there will be full rules explanations this is just to tell you what it is what's the best way to uh, to like describe it um i know <laughs> <laughs> it's kind I can't read that. Somebody said somebody said something weird. Uh it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, a little like Magic the Gathering. It's it's kind of just like a our design but the designer spent 2 years of his life on this and incredibly passionate. He created a really fun, really interesting it's it's kind of hard to describe. But we will have all that info. You'll see exactly how the game is played or if you don't really care about playing the game, then you don't have to. You can just get this if you feel like it, right? So here we go. Take a look at this. Here it is. This is it right here. This is the box. These are the packs. Let's go over what you get if you actually buy this. So there are foil booster packs. They each contain 10 cards total. Two of those cards are guaranteed to be one rare and one holographic. Every single card pack has a holographic. One holographic in every single pack. We wanted to make sure that it was going to be kind of fun to open. There's also the starter kit. So the two-player starter kit is everything you need to be able to play or just collect it if you want. It's got a lot of stuff in it. It's got a huge rule book, and I saw some, uh, you know, 43 page rule book. <laughs> it's elaborate. The game is very, very well made. You get two play mats, which are here with artwork and, you know, places with uh, some good rules and stuff and some phases. Two preset decks. You get two full decks, and I will say, I have a card. There is a Germa card, and it's, gar it's in one of these decks. So if you buy the starter kit, you'll get my card. We want to make sure that was a that was a thing. So inside, you also get not just the two full decks. You get two boosters in there as well. Two boosters. What an egomaniac! <laughs> so each starter kit has two boosters in it. And look at this, two dice. These are custom dice. 
they have um, the logo, the channel logo is on it. So there's a, a pretty there's a pretty decent amount of stuff in this box. Uh, so in the, in total, the two player starter kit has 104 cards. Now let's go over kind of uh, sort of what does that mean? There are 200 cards total, like individual different cards. The boosters have 10 in them, and you get two preset decks. Uh, each deck, I believe, has 42 cards in it in this particular set. That's correct, right? Grotto Beast group chat, please help me. Grotto Beast group chat, please help me. I, there are 42 cards in each deck in the pre-built uh, pre decks, right? Yes, okay. I just want to make sure I don't say anything that's incorrect. So that's what you get in the box. And it's I'm looking at it right now and I just still can't fucking believe how, how just crazy this is. <laughs> Dude, you're in class shouting at the other people on the group project. Can you imagine? <laughs> throw I gotta I gotta throw everybody that worked on the project under the bus. So let's keep going. So yeah, you get the dice, you get the two, you get two of these, by the way. You get two playmats, two full decks, the rule book. And each one of these has like really cool artwork on it. Uh, a lot of time, a lot of dedication, a lot of detail went into this. So the rule book itself, there's a lot of really just nice stuff in it. It's really cool. So we can keep going. All right. When will the pre-sale be? What what's happening right now? What's happening? Ooh, did you see that? So pre-sales will be up on our website today until the full release to ensure those who have followed closely a chance to get their cards. We are going to take pre-sale orders because we want to make sure that I told you guys this, uh, I want to say like a month or two ago. There's a lot of people that said that they really want to be able to get this. And I don't, we didn't want to have it be a scenario where, oh yeah, there's only like 500 of them. Good luck. And then people just can't get it. So the idea is we want to keep a pre-sale going for essentially we want anybody that wants to be able to get it to be able to pre-sale to buy it. If you are interested, that's why we're going to keep a pre-sale going for a, a little while. So what about international shipping and scalper prevention? Here's the here's the big take. I guess that kind of bleeds into this. So yes, there will be international shipping and the fulfillment team that we're using they're going to have some measures in place to prevent um, some of the more egregious forms of people buying and scalping, right? But also pre-sales are going to help with that too. Because the, these are just being sold and we have a quantity and we're just going to continue to keep a pre-sale open. So, there you go. Uh, all right, what about these questions? Further print runs, more merch types, tournaments... All right, so the game is currently in a limited print run. There's plenty of stock to help ensure anyone who wants the cards will be able to get them. So further print runs depend on if or how we run out of stock. And again, the potential for our ideas is exciting. But we don't want to get ahead of ourselves or overpromise. I don't want to tell you guys, oh, wow, there's all this other shit that's planned. No, let's just get, let's get through this first. Let's do this part first before, you know, going forward. There's some interesting things in this part, too. Can I do artwork for Grotto Beasts? The project is is done. So we do appreciate anybody that's reached out. People have reached out. And I, we, we are so happy and excited that people really want to, Hey, dude I, got, dude, I got this. I got this. I could do this. I could do this. We need to get through this sale first. Uh, we really appreciate it, but the project is complete. So... Just let, let us get through this period first. So, the, and there are 20, there are 20 artists. So that's like part of that too. And why did you not crowdfund this? What's wrong with you? I don't, I don't want to do that. I would rather be able to have, oh, hey, there was a Kickstarter project and yeah, I, I kickstarted it for $500. Um, where's all my shit? How come it's not done? It's been two years. What's going on here? I don't want to take your money and not give you a product. I don't want to take your money and overpromise something and not deliver. So that's why 
I didn't do a, a Kickstarter. What other Germaverse characters? In Germaverse is, you know, I guess we can use that term here. So what, what characters are in the game? This is like 12 years of references to the channel. And this is the big merch that I will ever do. This idea was actually something I wanted to do years and years and years ago. But I just didn't have the capabilities. I didn't have the support network. I didn't have the people. I didn't have the, the capital. I didn't have the money to be able to, to do something like this. So this, when people ask for merch, this is it. This is merch. And it's probably the, it's probably the, the most ridiculous merch I will ever do. You're never going to see anything like this on this channel ever again. So, but uh, interestingly enough, there are some cards that reference nothing. So, I told you about the Mr. Green's Casino stream that never happened. Uh, we thought it was going to happen, so there are like three or four cards in the game that reference the Mr. Green stream that didn't happen. I was going to get into prosthetics, and the Mr. Green's card is actually modeled off of, like, my face. So we were going to, I was going to get into a costume, and I was going to do all this stuff, and we have all these references, and it never happened. So, secret. Bring it back! <laughs> I don't think so. That's not going to happen. There are no plans to do that. Why is it canceled? Well... It just was, it just was too much. It was too hard, too much going on. But yeah, let's go over now. Excuse me, let's talk about this really quickly. No, it's not an NFT project. This is not an NFT, but this is physical cards, standard card size. And they come in a box, or they come in a foil pack. And that's it. It's not an NFT. What about a wiki? We are planning on hosting and curating an official wiki for the project. Lots of which will be intentionally left obscured. So there's still lots to discover as the game releases. We'll be populating it with extra details like developers' notes and concepts. And more world building as we go along. So there will be an official wiki. There will be... This is going to be a project that over the coming couple of weeks, you'll see a lot more detail on how how it's going to play out and when uh, when shipping is going to happen and that we, we let us get through this pre-sale first uh, can you eat the grotto beast cards are they flavored uh, please do not eat the cards they're not edible and they would probably taste very bad concerningly this is one of the most frequently asked questions do not eat them there i, I know a lot of people have a ton of questions a lot of people have so many questions and i would love to answer them all but let's start here and let's get to the most important part that everyone's asking. How much does this shit cost? <laughs> let's, let, should we go over this first? Hold on, wait, what, what happened? Did, did I skip that page? Did I skip a page? Did I? I didn't skip a page, right? No, I didn't. All right, let's talk about price. Because I know it's... I know a lot of people are going to say, how much is this shit? So that starter kit... That starter kit, I told you guys a few weeks ago, I wanted to... I so badly wanted to keep it under $100. And it's a limited run product. Um, we had to contact a manufacturing company. We only have a limited supply. So we tried to keep the price as low as we could and still be able to, you know, sell a certain amount and be able to at least try to make back the project money and try to make a little bit of money doing it, right? I'll be honest. Uh, so it's not a hundred bucks, which is expensive. And I know it's expensive. Um, and the, I know that a lot of people are going to see what this actually costs. And they're going to say, how much, how much is it? Is it 90? It's not 90. It's 79.99. It's $80 for 
for the starter kit. And in the starter kit, you get the two booster packs. The booster packs are going for $9.99, 10 bucks. And the issue that I've had, that I've always had, was trying to make it so... It w I just didn't want it to be so unbelievably egregious. But I don't know. It's, it's, it's a really tough thing to, to do. But I did promise you guys that I was going to keep that starter kit under 100. And turns out it's $79.99. But if you want to go back and kind of see exactly what you get in that box, we wanted to make value. We wanted there to be value in it. Uh, oh no, wait, let's put two custom dice in it. That, that sounds fun. Do throw that in there. How's the box? Is the box like of a good quality? Yeah, let's try to make the box a little bit a little bit nicer, right? So th there's been a lot of um, a lot of soul searching on how to actually make this have some value to it. Yeah. So as we go forward, uh, what was what did you say? I know people are gonna have a ton of, of questions, but how long the pre-sale is going for? That's a very, that's a really good question. The pre-sale, the pre-sale is going for at least the foreseeable future. We need to see how many people actually are buying it or how many people actually want it. And if you don't want it, if it's something that you're not really that interested in, it's like ah oh, no, sorry dude, no 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 thanks. Then let's fucking hang out and play Frog Detective. Right, but just know that this is a this is a project that is kind of like twelve years in the making. I wanted to make sure it was high quality. I wanted to make sure it was fun, and hopefully uh, you guys enjoy it because the team put a lot of time into it. And if you want to see who those people are, this is just a little letter that um, the team wanted to put together. Here's the people that worked on it. Not a huge team. <laughs> it's a very small team. But I feel like it's, I'm so glad to be able to even talk about this. Because people have said, dude, when are you going to be able to talk about this? When the hell is this happening? Why? And you can't give us any info? I didn't want to give you guys wrong info. I didn't want to give you info that was incorrect. But let me do, let me just go back real quickly because I want to I want people to see what like is in the box. Let's go back. Here we go. Okay. So this is what is inside of that kit. When is the pre-sales going to end? Uh again, that's a question that we we need to see just how this goes um, because I want to make sure that anybody that wants it has an opportunity to get it. Um, I don't want to end pre-sales before, you know, enough people have shown interest in getting it because I don't want to end it too early. I also don't want to end it too late either. Forty-three pages. Yeah, it's a read. Hope you got some time on a Sunday afternoon. Have I played it? I have played it. It was very fun. It's a, it's going to be at least a week or two in presale. Just got the starter pack from my fiance. So excited. I hope you like it. I really do. Anytime doing talking about merch, you you guys know me. I'm not a fucking merch person. I'm not. So this whole process has been really like I I hope you like it. A lot of work went into it. I hope you enjoy it. If you can afford it, if you can't, then we there's other stuff that's going to be on the site. Uh, we have posters. We have uh, I think you can get a, you can get a four pack of cards. You can get a individual card packs. There's merchandise. There's clothing. So I just wanted a bunch of options for people. Uh, I can show the website too. Let's 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 actually go let's go to it. Hold on. Let me show it.
And that is grottobeasts.net. Let's show it. Can you see? You cannot see. You will in a second. Okay. Uh, let's open this back up. Why is it not capturing? Capture! I have to show them the site. I have to show it to them before I get in trouble. Is that working? Hold on. Technical difficulties. Hold on. Okay, you now you okay, now you should be able to see it. Um, okay. All right, here we go. Let's show the site. Hey, okay. So this is grottobeast.net. Kind of a cool little uh, little intro graphic here. Scroll down. Here you go. Here is the uh, here's the starter kit. Here are the packs. Also, keep in mind. So the four packs we wanted to do a bundle of four packs because this will save you on shipping if you go if you if you do want to get this and you do want to get more than one of these, this will save you on shipping. We have ad block on. Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> Using Chrome? What? It's not Chrome? But yeah, so here here's the here's the product. Here it is. What's wrong with Firefox? You got a Firefox problem? I don't get it. So there you go. This is the website. This is where you go if you want to get it. GrottoBeast.net. There's also these. These are cards in the game. Demon Lloyd's Araxos, Bugleberry, Glue Man. And again, we wanted to make sure that if, if people wanted to participate and they don't want... Uh, Jerma, I don't have a fucking hundred plus dollars to spend on this shit. Well, then if you want to participate and you really still do, I just we wanted to make sure there was stuff available. We really did. Here are the merch. Here are the shirts. Come in an assortment of colors. There's hoodies. Here's down here. This is the original 40 beasts for the original stream, which is pretty cool. You're talking like my mom right now. <laughs> but here, here's a really cool thing. So this, this one glows in the dark. You can get the glow in the dark version or the one that's not glow in the dark, which would be this one here. Yeah, but you can get the glow in the dark hoodie as well. Are you blazed right now? No. <laughs> and then like hats too and other stuff and it's a lot. This a this project is is monumental. Um and it's it's a it's I don't know. Thanks guys. This is not possible. I can't do this project without having the community of people that have been supporting this channel for the last 10 to 12 years. Um there's a lot of community references. There's a hundred, um, a hundred cards, I think, or 120 cards are here. Are there's the original new Grotto Beast? There's new, um, there's new characters in here, and it's really, really cool. And also, I wanted to make sure that I clarify this too. The starter kit, the starter kit does have. There are over 104. There are not over. There's 104 cards in the starter kit. That's including the two boosters you get in this. But the two pre-made decks, uh, there are 80, what, 84 cards. They are, there are some doubles. There are some doubles in here because the way that the decks are made, because um, remember you can have up to three in each deck and these both decks are pre-made to kind of um, do a specific play style. Yeah, it comes with two packs. But there it is. There's your Grotto Beasts. Will there be new cards added over time? I cannot answer that question. <laughs> I cannot answer it. 
let's get through this first. We need to see how many people actually really want this because we we don't know. This is a this is really uncharted territory. And the two boosters, by the way, are two regular they're random packs. So these the two decks in here are the same. They are pre-built. They're the same in every single one of these. The two boosters you get in here are as if you had these. They're random. Again, each one of those has a rare and a holographic in these foil packs. How many cards are in the whole game? 200. There are 200 different cards. Are there any Polaroids of you flipping off the camera? No, there aren't. There's already going to be like holographic versions of some of these cards. And I don't know, I feel like that it, that's going to be really fun to watch people just, hey, look, I got a holographic Meowdy or whatever, right? Oh, I got a holographic uh, Glue Man. Um, that's really interesting. And I don't want to make me giving the double middle finger like 10 of them randomly to, I don't know, I don't want that to be some crazy valuable item that then is, uh, no, no, I'd rather not like increase the value because it was only going to go in like 10 of them. <laughs> do we have a list of the rarities? I believe we do. I believe we do. Grotto Beast uh, group chat. Yes, we do. We do have a list of every single rarity and everything, so we do. Will there be a food mode? Are there any glow-in-the-dark cards? That's an incredibly cool idea, but the answer is no. Yeah, we're going to make that... A, that will be public information. So the different rarities and the different... Uh, all that stuff. That will be on the official wiki. So that will be public information. Yeah, they're clearly marked with a C and an R too. So if it's a rare or a common, that's in the you'll you'll see it in the card. Is there a Mr. Green's card? Yes, there is. Buy is buying four single packs cheaper than buying the four pack? The idea with the four pack was to make it so you didn't. So this is this will save on shipping. That was the idea. It also depends on like where you are too. I, I shipping is different for a lot of different areas, but because if you buy if you buy an individual pack, you, you have to pay shipping for that pack. So we thought that okay, if you were going to get more than two, three, or four of these, then we want to make sure that you're not getting uh, that the shipping will be much lower if you were just to get these. If you planned on doing that. Yeah, it's it's a it's not about the price of the the list here, it's about shipping. How come it ends in 95 and not 95, like 985? We thought about making the booster packs 985, but it was just like, yeah. <laughs> nah. Did the pre-made deck have hollows? The answer I believe to that question is no. I believe the answer to that question is no. But you do get two of these in here. So with the starter kit, you will get two hollows. So you, I mean, technically, you will get two holographic cards if you get here, if you get this box. So I guess, yes, technically speaking. Where will the w rules be posted? The rules will be very publicly posted uh, in... If we're going to talk to the game designer. Uh, the rule book, we're going to make sure that people can actually... We'll have a condensed version of the rule book online. Are you going to do a stream showing this? At the very least, there's going to be a video that will show exactly how the game is played. And we'll watch it. We'll talk about it. I'll, I'll link to it. There'll be plenty of resources on the website, I promise. What 
what is, let me see this question. What is limited time? Just the starter kit or everything? So limited time, it's not necessarily time. It's inventory. Because we, like I said, we, we're doing this pre-sale. Because if we, I don't want it to say, hey guys, you've got fucking seven days to buy Grotto Beasts. And I don't want to limit it by that. I want to limit it. It's like li limited time is accurate. It's like limited inventory, right? Because we, the, these have been, pr we printed, right? We, hey, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. I do that a lot, don't I? So if you buy it right now, over the next couple of weeks, you are going to get it. And again, the reason why we did this is to make sure that if you actually want to have this, we don't just do a limited run that's six days. Or we don't just say, hey, it's live and it's live till it's gone and there are 2,000 units. And when they're gone, they're just gone and then it just kind of fucks over everybody. Right? <laughs> are the three posters the same as the cards? Yes, this is... These are the card art. This is the exact artwork that is on these uh, respective cards. So you're getting essentially a, a poster print of the card art. What size are the posters? The posters are... Uh, in Grotto Base group chat, if I could get a little bit of an assistance here. Is there an auto card? Yes, there is. It is 11 by 17 tabloid poster size. Yes, there is an auto card. Could there be a holographic auto card? Yes. And you bet your ass. You bet your ass I'm going to try to get that one. <laughs> what about the Discord? Yeah, th there's an opportunity to have a discussion channel, a and there's a let me just be really clear about this too. This is not the end. This is not it. There is another thing coming that you do not have to purchase that is... I can't fucking wait for you to see it. It's not anything that you're going to have to buy. It's just something... It's just something really fucking cool. You're not going to have to buy it. There is more, yeah. We have a... Thing. How do I even talk about this without leaking anything? There's a thing that's you're gonna see eventually in the next couple of weeks. I don't know. Is it audio visual? <laughs> I'm done talking. I'm getting yelled at. I'm getting yelled at. I'm getting yelled at. I'm getting yelled at. I'm gonna get yelled at. I'm gonna get yelled at. It's cool. Whatever the th whatever this thing that I'm talking about is, is super interesting, and uh, you, you don't have to buy it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. The whole team has been waiting to do this for so long. There were so many things to fix, so many production issues, so much going on during this project that all of us are just super happy that it's actually here. When you get it, I hope it makes you happy. And that's pretty much it. Am I missing anything, Grotto Beast team? Anything else to, uh, to say initially here? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Can you buy the stuff like the dice individually? We don't have a plan to do that. I think the point was to try to increase the value of this. Because 
the original prototype of this was, all right, how does this work? We have, okay, we're going to have two decks in there. It's going to be a, a box. All right, and how much are we going to charge for this thing? All right, put in other stuff. Make it a ton of artwork in there. Uh, have dice in there, because some of the things require, you know, dice. Have just, like, little things to try to make it a little bit more worth it. Who made the first sauce? Exactly. All right, so here's a really important point. Pre-sales won't run out, but getting one sooner might ensure that you get it sooner. So pre-sales are not going to run out. But if you order it sooner, you might get it sooner. Just depends on how we how we can handle the production. They're, they are in production right now, by the way. There are, we have an inventory that's in production right now. And I will show you, I will show you these things in person. So don't worry. We want to make it like a nice uh, setup where I can actually show you everything. And let me tell you, I love it. So if, if that means anything. Is there a naked... Jerma sitting at his PC card that could be holographic. Unfortunately, the answer to that question is no. <laughs> Although, now that you say that, that's... Well, here's another thing, too. We wanted to make this kind of for all ages. Or at least, you know, ages like six and up or whatever. So the, there's not a lot of, like... There's nothing really, like, fucked up in here. I really wanted it to be something that you could play with, like, your little brother, right? So, it's a general audience product. You said you weren't naked, though. Man, I lie about a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, I think we can move on. I'm going to take one quick BRB here. Hopefully, I, I covered a lot of stuff. I know there was a lot, and that, that I don't want to overwhelm people, too. Because I'll be honest, I'm overwhelmed. I'm very overwhelmed by this because this is something we've been waiting to do for so long. So I don't want to overwhelm everybody. There's a lot of info, a lot of things that will we'll be trickling out to you guys over the next few days. It's available now. Hopefully, hopefully you like it. I know I've said that like a thousand times, but I really do because... Yeah. Uh, this community means a lot to me. And... Uh, when this project became a thing that was going to be real, it was like, well, let's try to make it fucking awesome. Because I'm never doing this ever again. Ever. And it means a lot to me, so. I look forward to what you, what you get in your packs. <laughs> cry, 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 cry. <laughs> It's a really cool thing for a streamer to do. I, I think it is pretty damn cool. I hope it translates well. But let's go back to Frog Detective. I think the, the whole Grotto Beast team right now just all went like, Okay, fuck. <laughs> Alright. It's here. It's there. You can look at it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to all of you. Let's go play Frog Detective. Your stocks are plummeting. That's all right. And yes, if you want to have me answer the question, I will probably open some of this on stream. Of course I will. I will open a few packs and see what I get. Really hoping for that, you know, auto card. You seem pretty stressed. <laughs> I'm not stressed. I'm excited. All right. 
One more BRB. GrottoBeast.net. GrottoBeasts.net. There's going to be a panel down in the uh, panels under the channel. I just like looking at it. Let's go play Frog Detective. I'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Okay, I have returned. I just gave Holly a big hug and a big kiss. <laughs> she worked her fucking ass off on this project. Everybody did. All right. He just cried. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. That the core art team. A lot of it is the the imagination of that. Just the artists. It's just it's it's unbelievable. I'm I'm super happy. All right, let's do funny voices. All right, is this, uh, oh, there we go. The 
sus guy is sobbing right now. Wait, I need more flowers? No, I don't. We need Donald Trump now. <laughs> the frog detective voice actor was on hold for the last 30 minutes. Alright, this is worth it. Can I put a filter on for this? What kind of filter should be on? Wait, tell me what is too much. Oh no, that's that's a low pitch. This right? How's that? Fire? Is that good? That, yeah, that's like that's robotic. Hold on, what about this? I come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. No? Oh, does that sound bad? <laughs> How about I just do this? They come from far and ah, I just I'm I can't. They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. Ronda Dynamite? We sound pretty similar. That's me. Ready your weapon, frog? It's time for us to... Can we... Um, can I reset? Ready... Re Ready your weapon, frog. It's time for us to do battle. I don't have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. And why are you here to face me? This is my land, Frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? No. But I go to here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, Frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. How much? Have you ever lost on a coin toss? You call, you, must, you call it. You have to call it. Call it. I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. That's not Bernie. <laughs> it's not. How is that? It's Kylo Ren. No, it's not. It's neither one of those two things. <laughs> Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How much are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. What? The detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers unless your house is super cool and mega rich. Then tell people where you live because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give it to them. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. Is this stream pre-recorded? Nah! Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? No. I am enjoying having a uh, nice company. So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do for a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat them up. What? No! Give him a taste of the fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip them up. Tell them Yeah, are ugly. Please, no! I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective. I was meaning. Why am I getting low? Hold on. <clears throat> to be honest with you, detective. I was meaning to apply for the sheriff's position. 
Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know. Why some rando? His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group. It's classroom style. And I'd love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one is going to mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. <laughs> You've been putting it up your whole life, just call it. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole. Show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriff. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? All right, your job. What, what, what do you do? What's going on here? What kind of what? <clears throat> what kind of work do you do? Hmm. Well, detective. I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hat. If you've stolen the hat, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, it sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. <gasps> Ooh, you could forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? All right, so wait, I can get a, a fake ID, right? How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force. I will simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Ronda Dynamite. The rules do not apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know. But he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience. Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm. I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies! Just please don't beat up the Sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. You mind if I question you about the case? Alright, so we gotta, we gotta get something to write. We gotta get writing tools. To write a resume and learn some non-violent conflict resolution skills. Wants to fight me? No, wait. She wants to fight everybody. That was my full address. Dreams of being the sheriff. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Do you have anything over here I can look at? Who knew, who wanted the four flowers? Did anybody want that yet? Fake ID. Left alone. Proof of a ghost. Amuse. Does that work? Oh, cactus flower. Okay. Uh, Bonnie. Bonnie needs it. I have got... I, I completely forget this voice. I have no idea what it was. I, I completely forget. Can I ask you some questions? Cactus flowers. I've just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you'd told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Ha <laughs> did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. 
That would have hurt. Yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. You like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Ooh. What did I get? Uh, oh, what else has to go in the stew? Nothing else, right? Cool. All right, the graveyard is haunted. It needs a key. This gate needs a key. Perhaps I should find one and get lobster cops to help to open it. Oh, carrots. Right, 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 right. Good call. All right, you need writing utensils. You need a muse. We have not even spoken to you. <clears throat> It... Somebody said, don't do Trump. You just fucked me up. I literally read, do not do Trump in all capitals when I said the first two lines. <laughs> okay. Um. Do it. Now, yeah. All right. Ah. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm Frog Detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I mean, it's some of the best. Some of the best gear. We don't have it. I don't need anything. Oh. Um. Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. Believe me. No, thank you. We have a uh, we have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the consumer. And I mean, the consumer is obviously the most important thing in, uh, that we have here. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. And by the way, the special interests that are fighting against me, believe me, yeah, fake news media. Sick of them. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies. Such as? We're proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What's a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? This impression sucks. <laughs> you can't say that. All right, let me tell you something. You can't say that 10 minutes into an impression. You gotta stop me immediately. You gotta stop me immediately. Hey, hey man, I got an impression for you. Oh, here we go. Let me tell you something. My name is Donald Trump, and let me talk to you. And you just sit there and nod for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. And by the way, oh, the special interest. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, and then eventually, after eight straight minutes, you go, hey, I just wanna cut you off for a second. This is bad. It's like, man, you let me do my whole routine. You let me do my entire routine. Can I get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you're entitled to a refund. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time, and now it's like kind of turning into what it is. What is this? I don't know why there's extra S's and H's at the end of this now. Why? What is it turning into? The mystery, I mean, of the stone hats. 
Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. I would know. I know. Trust me. If there's anybody that knows about this, it's me. Nobody knows this better than I do. Nobody knows this better than me. Nobody knows the County General Store better than I do. Okay? This is SNL Trump. <laughs> It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. It's Cartman. Yeah. But whatever, it's all right. I'm here in official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like... Look at Hillary just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really, really, believe me, really, like, maybe in future, just tell people what you're here for. You know, just tell, tell people what you're here for. I mean, that's, uh, what do you want me to say? Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation, sorry. Ever since you started doing the Trump impression, the viewer count has gone down. Weakness. <laughs> hey, if you can't handle me at my Eric Cartman SNL uh, Trump impression, then you do not deserve me at my Frog Detective. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Quick, double down. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about you and your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ah, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running this shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? New job. So, you just started running the shop. How is it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but honestly, I'm nailing it. Who's to say I'm not? Nobody nails it better than I do. Doesn't feel like that most of the time, but it is. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands, it would be the best it's ever been. But it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right, Kyle. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, Kyle, there's one thing. What's that? Do you see these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Big, beautiful portrait with a big, beautiful door. Big, beautiful door on it, you know, believe me. Except for me. Mine's a silly photo. I don't like it. <laughs> suck, my, suck my balls, cow. <laughs> He's definitely high. I am fine. I am not. I promise you. Yeah, sure. But it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest. And then, obviously, when mom or dad is sick of doing the voice reading the story to the children, it becomes kind of like a half-assed version of what it was in the first two seconds, right? I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. I, I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, uh, can, can you let, let me know and let me tell me exactly I'm done. How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Okay, <laughs> kind of weird. What's weird, Kyle? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. 
You have not absorbed any of this, have you? No, none. Literally, I don't even know what the conversation has been. I've just phonetically been pronouncing words. I don't know what... I have no... If you offered me a million dollars to tell you what happened in here, I wouldn't be able to do it. You could open up a briefcase with stacks of 10 grand. And I would say, I'm sorry, I have no fucking idea what just happened. I'm sorry. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. All right, so we got to get, uh, I think, the painter, right? That makes sense. Well, that would be right. Oh, shit. Made a, made a million dollars. All right, let's go give it to the uh, painter. Who would pay you a million dollars? Well, it's just a large sum of money to make a point. You know what I'm saying? No, kitty, this is my pot pie. Oh, look at that. Can I buy these carrots? You have money. I sure do. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks. This goes in the stew. Mmm. <laughs> Where? Oh, you're... No, they're in the saloon, right? Carrot appreciation rant incoming. I mean, carrots are amazing. They go in everything. I want you to name me a name me a food, like a stew or a side. Name me a, a dish that you've eaten where you didn't want the carrots on the plate. I can't tell you one. No, 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 no. I'm not talking weird shit. Not oh, put carrots on pizza. Dishes that have carrots in it. They, I would never want them removed. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see it? Here you go. Hmm. Wow. This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? It sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it! What? I lifted the witch's curse! I mean, I guess. Seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I would say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Oh, it's cute. And voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you'd like. Really? Yeah. Or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> That's so sad. That is sad, yeah. All right. We got more things to deliver. I can put the carrots in. Let's finish the stew. Okay. Here you go. 
I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best detective. How did you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Yeah, it's a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did is pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a second. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Carrots are Satan's felt-tipped pen. That's actually kind of a... That was a very eloquent way to put that. Even though, like, I don't agree with you. But, like, that was... That was masterfully written. Right? That, that was a masterfully written statement. Right? Stop saying right! I can't... I, I gotta get that out of my system. That, like, cadence, I, I'm so aware of it now. I like this little worm. You say like a lot. You say right a lot. Yeah, I say you know what I mean a lot. I say okay. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Hear me out on this. I have like four ways to start or stop a sentence. It's kind of my version of saying over. Yeah, back the truck up a little bit. Over. Yeah, it looks like we have, uh, well, the supply's doing pretty good. Over. That, that's, that's how you know that I'm done with that sentence. Alright, so we got that. Uh... Oh, fake ID. What do I do with the shovel? Let me give the stew to the to the lobster cup. So, oh, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Oh, I'm still looking. You also say, what do you want about, and let me tell you something right now. Yeah, I do. What is this? Oh, it's a map. Oh, I needed that. Okay. So there's a well that I haven't been to. I went to the mine. I got the shovel. Crime scene map. Meal. Alright, so I have the meal. Let me go to that well. That well is down the road here. And Okay, around here. Yeah, I do say like a lot. I'm, I'm really aware of that. I think the reason why I say like a lot is not that the vocabulary is not there. It's just, my brain almost has to be a hard drive and find it. It's kind of, whenever I say the word, whenever I say like, you can see the hard drive blinking light on the back of my head go, do 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 Like the, the vo I have, the, my, my vocabulary is there. It's just, um, just need to search for it. What is this well? It's a filler word? Yeah. It's actually kind of funny because I've been a little more conscious of it recently. Uh, I try... 
I try to not say like filler. Ah, there it is. I try to not say filler words if I can help it. <laughs> I can't get down there without a ladder and I'd fall and break my legs and arms and knees and my head and nostrils and fingers. Break your nostrils. All right, so I need a ladder. I can't do that yet. What do I do with the shovel? Hmm. What did you want? Oh, the portrait. So you're not going to believe this. I believe it. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait. Seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. Get that? About me? He sure did. Can I? Oh, I'm sorry. Ow. By the way, I'm, I'm moving my hands around. I'm doing the thing. I'm putting my palms up, putting my right hand forward, back. Putting both palms up, putting right hand forward, right hand back, right hand forward, right hand back. I, I have to do that. I, I, my, 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 and my mouth is going like this. And I'm putting my hands up, and right now, my right hand just went up, forward, and then back, and then forward again. I think you, you have to do that. Doing a Trump impression, if I sit here and just do it without the motions, I won't be able to do it. Okay, let's hang it up. Wow. Wow. It's huge. This is huge. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. Sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. Painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thank you so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. Appreciate it. It was no problem at all. Oh, uh, well, frankly, it was huge. Uh, what can I give you for the trouble? Let me see. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. There it is. Nice. So now we go down the well. You barely notice you're holding it, I promise. If you say so, thanks. It's the best ladder. I fell asleep for a second. What's going on? <laughs> I think you missed a lot. How long did you fall asleep for? Yeah, good morning or good afternoon. Well, good night. Well, no, I may you might have just taken a nap. There's been tons of times where I've just kind of just sort of conked out for a little bit. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down as well. Lucky me. Ooh, a key. We need it. Close that book. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. So I got two items. I can't nap. I'm either awake or conked out for nine hours. The problem that I have is I will put my head down and I will nap for 20 to 30 minutes. I will wake up still lying down. My body will wake up. And I'm so just so comfortable and so sleepy that I say to myself, I don't give a shit. And then I close my eyes again and then I sleep for eight plus hours. 
Yeah. It's hard to nap. Those of you that can actually get up, you are incredibly strong. Don't ever think you're not. I'm serious. If you're able to just get right up after taking a little nap, you you are very strong. You have very strong will. You do. It's a really fucking hard thing to do. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for going up there. That could be. He just called me weak. No. You're probably strong in other ways. See? Bro, I think you have sleep apnea. <laughs> I definitely don't have sleep apnea. I don't, I don't think so. All right, we got the key, we got the stew. I need to do something with the shovel. Okay. Is the shovel a criminal tool? Do I have everything? So that, is that technically a criminal tool? Now we need the fake ID. All right, so we need someone to give it. The fake ID comes from you. We need a writing utensil for you. Is there somebody I didn't meet? Who did I not meet? The saloon? Oh shit, there is somebody at the saloon. Oh wait, isn't this Bernie? This was original Bernie. Hi. Susan. Hondo. Detective. Be swift. A bad thing. Perhaps. Or who? A will to determine such good and bad. A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge, charge this solar powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. No okay. clue? I would assume for sun protection. Protection from the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn to a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm frog detective. And I am just a lonely poet, trying to make sense of the world. Nice to meet you. And... and you? <laughs> this is like if you put the heavy, his head underwater. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? <laughs> I can do that better. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, no. Ah, this. I am no cowboy. I am dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. 
It's taking forever. I am no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes. Ah. But when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. My, my, I'm, I'm eating my own throat. <laughs> I just like, I just swallowed. And I swallowed the throat inside of my throat. Hold on, give me a sec. It was like, <laughs> How talented do you have to be to do that shit? I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I am ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm. No. Yeah, okay. Uh. A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter. Sing a tune. Say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. The smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and a smile back too. Yet, I wish, I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. <laughs> Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town, and I love cookies. Oh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> You're not rolling your R's. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> It's beautiful. I would say that's a perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Ooh, a chocolate chip cookie. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets to me. You know? That was better. Totally. I'll show you what I have so far. And maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Uh, I saw a cowboy eat a snake. <laughs> okay, I have to change this. I have to change this. I have to change. Before, like, I lose a hundred thousand followers. Uh, I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. From his sack. Okay. From his sack. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. To get some more. Towards the store, because he was bored. Towards the store, towards, towards the store. Towards the store. Wow, I'm getting better. He finished quickly, smart and sure. Then he headed, then he headed off towards the store. Sure, store, more, to get some more. To get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure. And headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, they stole a newly built office block. There was a Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. He saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover... Yeah, I did the voice crack on purpose. I'm glad you picked it out. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover... Face. Nothing there, just empty space. Trace. Trace. 
intentional voice cracks. I figured it'd be kind of funny. Uh, I think I'm gonna say Trace. Face, Trace. The thing had gone without a trace. Hmm. Fuck twist. Okay. He followed over a concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head. And off he went. Feeling like an egghead. You can't rhyme head with head. Back to bed. Back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head. And off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect! A perfect poem! I can't wait to recite it in front of the crowd! Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective! It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I'm, I'm becoming like German. I feel like I understand the, the cowboy life a bit a better now. I'm doing, I'm literally doing Arnold. French. Maybe uh, one day I will feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, 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 I do. But every time I start a new uh, project, I like to use uh, new tools. So I don't uh, take the energy out of the old poem, no? That sounds expensive. Yes. Anyway, take them. You suck. Stop that! Don't stop saying that! Stop being that person! Time that person! I ban that person! Stop saying that about me! <laughs> Alright. Alright, we got everything. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, you do that voice for too long, it becomes your voice. Okay. Let's go get the ID. All right. Be honest. I really want to know. On a scale of, of an, on a scale of zero to ten, what would you rate that heavy voice? It's a it's a very difficult voice to do. You have to be incredibly talented. What what would you actually give me like a real number, like six? I think that was a solid six, like a six point five. At least, yeah, six or seven. I'll take a six. Definitely need to work on the accent portion. But I think I've, I think I, I, if I really tried, I could really get that, you know, this part, you know, this, you know what I mean? That, that exact tone. All right, writing supplies. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. But thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be on the dynamite. Can I ask you some question? Fake ID. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me. Sure. Anything for my friend, the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Do you want to know what it's for? No. I am not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Oh, there goes chat again. Being wicked sus. <laughs> that was hidden dialogue. You didn't see that? I had a hidden dialogue pop up. That's why I said that. There's some dialogue option popped up. All right, I'm done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. All right. 
Now we bring the fake ID to where should it go? It goes to the bank where the rabbit is. Here is your fake ID. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that it may, this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress the lobster cop. So, here's your fake ID. It's me, Otto. Yes! This rules! It looks so realistic! I don't think it looks realistic at all. But it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, detective! I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. Don't tell anybody. Hear ye, hear ye! The detective helped me break into a bank! No, 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 no! They should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine, fair here. I got the map out for you. Crime map. And I got my real ID out. So I won't be breaking the rules anymore. Glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think I'll be a big help. Ooh, wait. I think that's everything. Crime map, key, stew. I think that's it. Did I, can I go back to the, the cop now? I think that's it. Yeah. Crime scene map. Criminal tool. The, the tool must be the shovel. Is this a granny like? No, it is not. A granny like would have all of this stuff be in all these buildings and have to do the same exact route, but there's a person running 100 miles per hour behind me. And if they touch me, the game's over. So it, it's close. All right, I have returned. Here you go. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, oh, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel. Oh, I think that. I think you could be right, detective key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Oh, thank you very much. As I, I, as, as our number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. Uh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. Now you go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. Otto's Big Adventure 2 voice? Yeah. It's me, Otto. Alrighty. Well, here goes nothing. You're too kind to be streaming just for me on my birthday. <laughs> well, I didn't want to tell anybody because it was a surprise, but everybody... Happy birthday to you. There it is. Happy birthday. Crap. Just for you. Yeah, this is where the hats are hidden. Are we going to see who did it? All right, chat. Who do you guys think is the one that buried the hats here?
Ooh, we got a raid. Raid, 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 raid. Thank you, uh, Lanya Laser. I say your name wrong every single fucking time. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> I can't talk properly. I cannot talk properly. But thanks for the raid. Welcome. How's everybody doing? What what were we doing? What was going on on what was going on in your stream? Something fun? Thanks for the raid though. Happy birthday song? Was it you got a birthday? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh shit, alright, it was your birthday today. No, oh, appreciate it, thank you. We're playing Frog Detective. Uh, I do want to say, this is the final probably two minutes of this game. So if you don't want to see a major spoiler for Frog Detective 3, but uh, close your eyes. Here it comes. Here we go. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It just didn't make any sense. Oh well. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. What was that? Great! I found a hatch. I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. <gasps> oh, why am I so gassy today? It's insane. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. There are the hats. Okay. What happened? Who did it? Uh oh. Drama. <clears throat> oh dear. Good luck I'm trying to remember what everybody sounded like. Well, here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. Please read poem. Hello. I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. Uh -uh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head. And off he went, back to bed. Da. Hooray. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <gasps> I'm pleased to announce I have recovered. Ah, let me stop you right there, detective. <laughs> I'm pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to cover this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole as the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats went missing. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. 
the culprit of this crime, hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than that second best investigator, Frog Detective. Wait, what? I've been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This. No, this is a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I found it. I found the hats. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone draw eyebrows on me. I didn't have eyebrows. I don't have them. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What happened? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. The well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Moe. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. Seems to me that you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Mm hmm. Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea and more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. The punishment of crime. No. An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Moe. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It's in my office. Oh, well, in that case, Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. No. Somebody help. Revenge. <laughs> Or could they? How could they? What? Is that actually a bad end? Just wanna go home to sleep. <laughs> Wait, what? Where the air is That's such a that's so sad. That's that's a bad ending, right? That's the worst ending. You just get arrested and framed for a crime and they just lock you up. Yeah, that's a bad ending. Just singing my Oh no. That might not be the end. Let's find out. You need to go fix it. Or wait, is this a setup for Frog Detective 4? This is a series, right? You need to fix this. What did I do out of, did I do something out of order? Yeah, this is episode three. What? We don't have anyone else to credit and there's still time left. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, season six, episode 11. Cool. Huh? Okay, well this is a job on that on that show. This is a pretty good bit. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> That's a good bit. He is so sad in there. That's not fair. I 
I think it's because you uninstalled the first two games. Really? Well, let's see. <laughs> fake fan. Fake fan. All right, let's see. Hold on a second. What happens now? Hmm? gonna reach out to somebody hello hello oh Frogdetective.net slash blog.html To my loyal fly frog blog readers. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me in here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. But if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. What the fuck is with my gassy body? I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. So I must say I'm not sure I have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective X. Oh, somebody's going to read the blog and go get them. Yep. This is terrible. I can't believe this. <laughs> What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog vlog post. I was excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County, but I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real. Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself. So now it's not frog detective anymore, it's <laughs> Look out for the lamb, oh I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective innocent. Wow, mystery monkey is so cool.
Well, it's not over. There's still there's still some more. New protagonist. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course, but how could I forget? It's, it's good to see you. Likewise, I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Uh, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth, P.I.? No, it's none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help cover in Cowboy County. You haven't heard. Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. Terrible news. How can you be so sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh, no. What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there. To investigate the ghost noise, it is mixing up a lot of different things at the same time. But I'm still trying my hardest, Arthur. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew he right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. <laughs> Somebody said, who said Kenneth Copeland? <laughs> okay, let's go. Shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. Hmm. What's in here? Clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. It was your mod? So, oh, I, I, it went by too fast. My God, what's that? That's a clue. Mm hmm. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a second. 
Wait a second. Oh, I couldn't be. People walk in here all the time. Yeah, that's true. Uh oh. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? What is he doing? Why did he do that? Copy of the detective's notebook. Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. Note. The rage. Hello, Lobster Cop. It's me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I've done what you asked. Not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. You keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook inside of some great insights on how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn, but it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan I came up with. Devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you'll have to get rid of the best. This can't be true. Lobster cop, number one best detective, a fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There's been a terrible misjustice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Where where are you? <clears throat> I'm coming. Hmm. up howdy folks what brings you to cowboy county so late this is our turf you better have good reason we don't want any trouble we hear about our good friend the frog detective ah the duality of frog how can one be so kind poetic and thoughtful also be a stealer of our hats I forgot who, what do you sound like? Frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet, what does this person sound like? I really, I really trusted Frog Detective, but Snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal. That's just not me. I, I on you, abandoned. I'm outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Uh, sure. We all saw the photo. Those four old brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too. Oh, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me! You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake. Not so much a mistake. A setup. A set. A setup. A setup. A setup. A setup. A setup. Better. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? 
That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you can point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Moore has the detective locked up in bad room. I just didn't want to... I burped off camera. You're quiet. You should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. I am now going to change the voice of this character because it's kind of hard to do after so long. They will now sound better and different than this. Okay, Arthur. I'm changing it to something else. My bad. He's decomposing. <laughs> Can I sneak in? It said to sneak in, right? Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room, but that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust. That's even worse. No. We're here. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Chef Mason Moe was up to something. Not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you, I believe. Lobster Cop and Mason Moe planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? Hard to know for sure until we ask. But it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious of who? You... Uh... You, detective! They're talking about you. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's... I, I keep hitting the microphone, and I'm sorry that I do that. But we... Let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. Once and for all! The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. <laughs> Jeremy, you're turning into voice soup. Uh-oh, here we go. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I, I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Yank you town for meeting us on such short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <gasps> huh? What? I... Uh, uh. This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been telling the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island, Arthur. 
As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reports, sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? Just like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. <clears throat> oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by a lobster cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not... I... <laughs> this is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. Time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I felt threatened. You're so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it. I passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Bowl was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down, and I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? Here's a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? He was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you put me in a bad room. Framing me was bad, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped. That's so cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really don't like that room. I hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster Cop, Mason Mole, you have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to the bad room? I absolutely not. It's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in ways that I cannot begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. You deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Boil him. <laughs> And boil him, is what you're saying over here. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. Up no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and my gun. Okay. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. <laughs> Mate. I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. 
have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Pop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well, then it's settled. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, Detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie. Right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy to being a postie, and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Say, hey, now that's all sorted. I have an announcement to make. Oh. Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective is... Congratulations to... Mr. Monkey. Wow, congratulations, Mr. Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full-time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again. This calls for a celebration. Barney, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. Oh, and lobster posty, posty mason mole. Yeah? You're invited too. Let's party. It's time for a dance party. Yay. Yay. Oh, look. Yay. Holy shit, the lobster is going fucking hard. Jeez. Jesus. That was cute. Hit the Yoinky Splanky. Well, we have to wait till after the credits. We can't. I'm not going anywhere. Why do I feel like these are mo-capped? Don't they, don't they look mo-capped? They are, okay. Two weeks later. Am I frog detective or am I mystery monkey? Oh, look, that's cute. Uh oh. Frog detective, crime shoving agency, frog detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, frog detective. Yes, mystery monkey. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're number one best detective. I know, but this one's a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. <laughs> Why did 
did you call the phone? Hey, detective. Well, well, well. This is Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1. Frog Detective 2. And now Frog Detective 3. How do you think I feel with 48 other Mystery Monkeys? Hmm, good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. Case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. <laughs> oh, it's all pasted over. That's funny. Surprise birthday party. Oh my god. What's everybody doing here? Well, detective, we appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Hey, with my island, I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked. That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Whizbay. Huh? There it is. Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? Open it up. Oh, it's a hat that fits his head. Happy birthday. Wait, what is it? That's easy, Detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats. My head shape is... is I have a different head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Oh, boy. What the heck? Oh, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. like Arnold's hat from Hey Arnold. Yeah, that's true. Thank you for playing Frog Detective. We have loved making these games for you, and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. That was very cute. It was very nice. I'm glad I played it. So, uh, is that the whole... That's it, then. Three episodes, right? Aren't these literally like two dollars or something? These are like less. I think this game is less than five dollars for each episode, right? Five bucks. This is a trilogy, yeah. Very cute. Oh, okay. Hold on. The game actually ended on March first, so you have to eat a whole cake on stream. No, it's 10 o'clock Pacific. That's not accurate. <laughs> yeah, so that's, um, that's Frog Detective. Really nice. Close the book on that. I want to play Hylix, but I think, I think we're going to wait. I don't think I want to start that right now. I feel like I would only play it for like an hour. So here's the plan. 
Uh, I want to make sure that all the Grotto Beast stuff is going smoothly. So as of tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to... I'll. There will definitely be a stream on Thursday, on the 2nd. But I just want to make sure everything's going well. Keep an eye on the sus. But I'm imagining the next time we'll be live will be Thursday or Friday. Also, grottobeasts.net, grottobeasts.net. We went over it in detail uh, a couple hours ago, but uh, that project is now available. It's in pre-sale. It'll be in pre-sale for a while. If you feel like buying it, if you want to participate, it is available right now. Pog indeed. Yeah. Hope you had fun. So you see why I waited so long to do this? Because... Oh, my goodness. Am I full of air? Why am I full of helium today? That's like the 15th time that's happened. The end. Yeah, over the next few days... Because I don't want to, I didn't want to overwhelm everybody with a bunch of stuff. I'm going to show some of the merch and I'm going to show the box because I have access to it. So you will see the product. I'll have it in my hands. We'll kind of go over it a little bit. But I want it tonight to be sort of the announcement and the pre sale launch. And maybe in a couple days we'll go over some more stuff. But I don't want to overwhelm you or myself. The pin tweet should now be Grotto Beast. That is absolutely what's going to happen. Grottobeasts.net. We got a starter kit. We got card packs. Hope you like it. We'll be talking way more about this in the next couple of weeks. I can assure you. And I will see you guys in maybe a couple days. Keep an eye on the sus. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Yeah, Breath of the Wild will show up again soon. Once we run out of stuff to do, some of these games that I've been trying to finish. Yeah, we'll play it again. I will. We're, I'm going to finish it absolutely before the new one comes out. That's for sure. And then I'll wait like a year to play the new one or something, right? But we'll see you in a couple days. Good night. Goodbye. Call your mother. Take care of yourselves. Good job on Grotto Beast and the team. We really appreciate it. When you get it in your hands, I hope that you open it and say this was worth it. I hope so. Have a fantastic night. See you guys soon. Take care.
Thank you.